For some businesses, grants and PPP loans are simply not enough. The Buffalo Roadhouse Grill, in fact, on Niagara Falls Boulevard, is a perfect example. As 7 Eyewitness News senior reporter Eileen Buckley shows us tonight, the town of Tonawanda restaurant is just one of so many businesses connected that have had you know, tough times during this pandemic. It's the end of the road for the Buffalo Roadhouse. The restaurant in the town of Tonawanda posted this Facebook message. It said in part, it's with a heavy heart and a great deal of regret, we are forced to close down permanently. In November, the state put much of Erie County in an orange zone, slamming the door shut on indoor dining for the second time this year. The restaurant says with a drastic reduction of business, it could no longer operate. I would say casualties at this point are probably in the hundreds. Melissa Flashute is president and CEO time. of the New York State Restaurant Association. Buffalo Roadhouse closed despite receiving a federal PPP loan for $150,000. But Flashute says she does not believe the business would be required to pay back the loan. I don't think closing should impact their ability to get forgiveness for the loan. Buffalo Roadhouse also received a $25,000 local back-to-business loan through Erie County. In a statement, the county says it's committed to ensuring appropriate use of funds by all grantees, including Buffalo Roadhouse, but noted that if a business closes after receiving a grant, they will still be required to put the funds toward eligible expenses. And here at the Viking Diner in Grand Island, filled with great retro art, they're also closing down. As of right now, we are shut down. Viking Diner owner Chris Polizzi just opened last February, right before the pandemic hit. He's now in his second COVID shutdown. I'm way behind in my rent. Yeah, way behind in my rent. Polizzi says orange zone restrictions are tough. It's literally just a, a two mile hike over the bridge into Niagara County and they can go to restaurants. One of my coworkers here has a job over in Lewiston. It's like, it's just not fair. It's really not. The diner's general manager, Caitlin Klinger-Smith, says all 19 employees were let go. And now I'm just like, okay, where do we go from here? Like, do I have a job or do I not? The state says it's constantly evaluating data and trends in hopes of reopening businesses as soon as the numbers support it. On Grand Island, Eileen Buckley, 7 Eyewitness News.